This is an ellipse. It looks like an oval. A rugby ball is a perfect example, and so is the MCB building in Mauritius. The minor axis is the shortest distance passing through the center of the ellipse. It is also known as the diameter of the smaller circle. The major axis is the maximum distance passing through the center of the ellipse. It is also known as the diameter of the bigger circle. For example, the major axis is equal to 120 mm, the diameter of the circle will be 120 mm. And eventually, the radius of the circle would be half the diameter, which is 60 mm. Let's try an example. Please copy the question. For this exercise, you will need a paper, pencil, eraser, compass and your set squares. Start by drawing the center line for the concentric circles. All lines need to be pale. So the major axis is 100 mm and the minor axis is 60 mm. Radius of the major axis will be 50 mm, which is half, and for the minor axis it will be 30 mm, half as well. Take your compass and measure 50 mm. Draw a circle. Now measure 30 millimeters and draw another circle. We will need to divide the inner circle into 12 equal parts. Measure the radius of the inner circle and place your divider on the spot where the center line intersects the small circle. Bisect the circle up and down. Do the same thing on the other three spots where the center line intersects the small circle. Connect the bisected spots which pass through the center of the circle. The line must continue its way until it touches the bigger circle. For this tutorial, I will annotate the intersections. You don't have to do this, it's only for explanation. The bigger circle is annotated by A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. And the smaller circle by numbers 1 to 12. Now take your set square and align it to 2 and 12. We will draw two horizontal lines.
The horizontal line must be approximately perpendicular to B and the other one must be approximately perpendicular to L. Now you will do with number 3 and 11. Perpendicular to F and perpendicular to K. Aligned to 5 and 8. Perpendicular to E and I. Aligned to 6 and 8. Perpendicular to F and H. Now align your set square to C and E. Draw a line from F which intersects the line from number 3. Same thing for E and number 5. Place a square on B and F and do the same thing for number 2 and 6. L and H. K and I. Now you have all the coordinates to make the ellipse. You will need to sketch your ellipse. I like making pale lines just to make sure that my ellipse is good and then I will use a darker line. You can make use of a flexi curve if you're familiar with it or a set square which has a mini French curve. There you go. Like and subscribe for more.